here uh, we come to the end of uh, the process of this uh, how the wool is made now next is your uh, silk how the silk is formed or the silk threads are formed this all we will discuss on the uh, next turn but before that you will be writing there are certain keywords that are written here i want you all to write these keywords in your notebook two times this is a cocoon fleece reeling scoring sericulture shearing silk moth silk worms and sorting these are all the new words that you have started in this lesson a few you still have to study relating to the sericulture or the silk worm growing of the silk worm and <clears throat> how the silk is formed from the silk moth that a certain words like sericulture cocoon then silk moth silk worm these are the words related to the sericulture uh, so that we will discuss in the next video but till then you have to write all these words in your notebook two times then you have to do certain exercise also in this this is the simple exercise you must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes ba ba black sheep have you any wool mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow now answer the following questions which part of the black sheep have wool and what is meant by the white fleece of the lamb now these two you have to write i'll just write the answers here and you have to write that the silkworm is a caterpillar silkworm is is a caterpillar b larva choose the correct option a and b both a and b or neither a or b so it is both a and b it's a caterpillar and a larva which of the following does not yield wool yak camel goat and woolly dog it's a name woolly but it does not yield wool it this is the one which does not yield wool rest yak camel and goat yields the wool matlab in sab mein se humko wool milta hai lekin woolly dog naam woolly dog hai par usme se humko wool nahi milta hai now here this is a small terms that you have to write really that we will write in the notebook then here sequences uh, you have to write the sequence given below is a sequence of the steps of processing a wool which are the missing steps there you have to add after shearing comes scoring sorting drying then dyeing and then spinning into the yarns out of the following which are the two terms related to the silk production sericulture floriculture moriculture apiculture and silviculture it is sericulture and moriculture sericulture is the the scientific name of mulberry is morus album alba so from moriculture from this morus alba comes the moriculture now next is your match the following so what you have to do is you have to write question number 2 3 5 7 and 8 now match the following scoring mulberry leaves yak and cocoon now there's one more extra option is given here yields silk fiber a wool yielding animal food for silk and reeling and cleaning sheared skin now what is the meaning of scoring the scoring means cleaning sheared skin that means the skin that is removed the hair that is removed with the fine layer of the skin that is clean that is called a scoring now mulberry leaves you all know that the silkworm lives on the mulberry trees as it is the leaves of the mulberry trees are its food so food for silkworm yak you know wool yielding animal it gives wool and cocoon yields silk fiber so this match you have to write in your notebook one time as well as you have to do it in your textbook the last one is your crossword puzzle you can see here this is your crossword puzzle so here down and this is across this is your down and this is your across through washing animal fiber long thread like structure now across is keeps warm its leaves are eaten by silkworms and hatches from eggs to moth now this is all about the sericulture or the silk production and this is about the wool through washing it is your scoring one down s c o u r score then it is your our animal fiber that is your wool then long thread like structure this is three long thread like structure is your silk s i l k silk now one thing we have done through washing is your score then animal fiber is your s i l k silk and long thread like structure is your fiber f i b r e fiber now keeps warm what keeps us warm it is the wool its leaves are eaten as the by uh, silkworms it is the mulberry leaves and 
hatches from x to moth it is your caterpillar so this all you have to do you don't have to write the crossword you don't have to draw it in your notebook like this in your textbook you have to complete this crossword but in your notebook you have to write here as answer in one word you have to write in your notebook as answer in one word then you through scoring you will write here so all the six you will write together and write the answers in the front i'll show you how to write iske aage main ek answer likh ke aapko bata dungi kaise likhna hai aur waise hi aapko notebook mein answer in one word karke likhna hai lekin is textbook mein aise hi aapko ye complete karna hai so this is all for this week next week we'll meet and complete the lesson till then bye